Hello my dear beautiful friends welcome back on my channel and today's video is a very exciting video and it is the being an Indian youtuber tag so before getting into the tag and all other details I just want to apologize for not uploading in the past two weeks because I was actually traveling in the last week of October and when I came back I got sick and uh, I was having a lot of uh, um, you know like a viral a flu kind of thing I had a severe fever and I just did not feel like filming and I was very uh, feeling very low so I did not film in the past two weeks and also because I was not so well I did not edit the videos that I've uh, filmed previously so I'm really very sorry you guys but now I'm back in action so you'll be seeing more videos also if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified on my further videos I do upload at least once a week <laughs> I have kept this one like uh, um, now but I don't know I might increase because of the situations happening around I think at least I'll upload once a week so you guys will be notified whenever I upload my videos so yeah let's get into today's video so today's video is very unique and I'm super excited to film this video uh, this is the being an Indian youtuber tag I think this is for the first time I'm doing a tag video on my channel so the main idea behind this uh, tag is unity in diversity because there are so many Indian youtubers uh, like there are so much experienced people there are budding youtubers at the same time and we just want to uh, get all the the people connected through this tag so my friends Nidhi and Shaima came up with a questionnaire and they have already done their video and they tagged me also so I'm so happy to do this video if you want to know about a little about me so please do uh, go ahead and keep watching so the first question is who tagged you and whom do you tag so Nidhi from Nidhi Katyar so she tagged me and uh, I actually tag all the youtubers like the indian youtubers with whom i have collaborated previously and also i'm tagging uh, all the indian youtubers from different platforms like uh, the beauty gurus the fashion gurus and there are some cooking uh, um, you know uh, youtubers who do who does a lot of cooking channels cookery shows and all and also like techies uh, techie indian youtubers and like um, and also uh, like uh, the people who vlog so I'm tagging each and everyone there and uh, feel free uh, guys to tag your favorite youtuber to know more about them and uh, yeah please do uh, spread this message uh, with the hashtag of being an Indian youtuber tag so the next question is what is your channel's name and what does it mean so my channel's name is beauty by Lakshmi I I don't know it was all of a sudden I thought of uh, doing YouTube videos so my name is Lakshmi Aparna like my full name is Lakshmi Aparna so I thought I'll take the you know Lakshmi from that name and I just want to concentrate on beauty not uh, merely the external beauty but also like the inner beauty which I will be focusing few uh, very soon on my channel so yeah uh, so that's why I kind of uh, named my channel beauty by Lakshmi so the next question is what um, motivated you to be a youtuber so before getting into this question because i just want to tell you guys how actually i started my youtube journey it was all sudden uh, but there is a funny story behind my youtube journey because uh, um, actually if you live in india and if you watch tv shows you must be knowing uh, the show from star plus is pyar ko kya naam do so i was a big fan of the first um, uh, you know the first uh, uh, season of that and uh, when the second season started uh, the uh, lead uh, the female lead uh, in the serial Asa she was wearing some beautiful coral lipstick and I fell in love with that shade and I started uh, doing my research to find out the name of the shade and I went uh, like uh, mad <laughs> like searching on google you know uh, typing and that led me into some blog pages where there were so many 
people who are actually doing reviews on some uh, lipstick shades and so many beauty products and then finally uh, they, that led into actually YouTube uh, channels where people talk about uh, the products and review them and all so I was actually fascinated because this is completely completely very different from what I um, I do currently <laughs> so um, when I was talking about all these things uh, with my husband, he actually asked me, why don't you start a YouTube channel? And I was like, what? <laughs> then, uh, okay, then I thought, okay, let me see if I can. And uh, that time, actually, Fab Bag was, uh, you know, like all over uh, YouTube. So I also subscribed uh, for the Fab Bag edition. And I think Fab Bag or Fab Bag video is my first YouTube video. So that's how I started uh, my YouTube journey. So the next question is, how long have you been doing YouTube? So it's more than an year, but not exactly a year and a half. But it's more than an year I have started my YouTube journey. But I'm, I was actually not consistent. And uh, uh, But I used to make videos uh, like whenever I, I find some time. So I was uh, there on YouTube uh, for more than a year. So the next thing is, do you do your family and friends know about your youtube life what was the reaction so as i said my husband he was the first person to you know make me uh, do youtube uh, so he was always supportive and uh, till date my mother-in-law did not know do not know that i make youtube videos uh, my parents know um, about my youtube but uh, they are like happy uh, they are uh, happy with whatever I do. My mom, she loves, uh, you know, uh, all these things. So she sends me like uh, the eye looks and some, you know, nail looks and she asked me to do them, uh, like create tutorials. <laughs> so uh, she's very much interested. And um, coming to friends, uh, very few, I think, uh, uh, less than 5% of my friends know about my YouTube. And... Uh, like initially their reaction is what are you doing because I am a doctor and I have my own practice and I'm a, you know they felt um, it was really something weird or something very different uh, so they were uh, not uh, you know <laughs> so happy with the, my decision of making YouTube videos even today many of my friends are like many really uh, like more than 90% of my friends do not know about my YouTube channel so very soon, once I hit around 1000 subscribers, I might actually tell them about my YouTube channel. So that's my actual plan. So the next question is, how difficult is uh, to be an Indian YouTuber? It's really very difficult, I say you guys. Um, you know, uh, being an Indian YouTuber, uh, it's like, uh, uh, it comes with a lot of uh, uh, like uh, positivity and a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, like more negativity than positivity because people actually tend to judge you like anything uh, here on uh, the social media especially they just don't know about uh, anything about your background or anything about uh, uh, your you know whatever you are you are personally and they just try to judge you based on the 10 minutes or 3 minutes or whatever videos that you are making and they just want to uh, do some comments and they just want to um, you know judge you so it's not very easy being an Indian YouTuber and also because uh, see uh, there is a difference between being an international YouTuber and being an Indian YouTuber I must say you guys uh, uh, when it comes to Indian YouTuber uh, life, uh, it's not simple because um, we people actually are taking so much effort to make uh, videos and uh, I know many of people there watching, they just try to judge us. So it's not uh, uh, fun here <laughs> and it's really very challenging at the same time. So um, it's difficult being an Indian YouTuber as far as my journey, <laughs> like uh, whatever um you know youtube journey i have <laughs> so i've seen so it's not easy the next question is are there any earnings through youtube um so yeah uh, that is the next question yes there are earnings uh, through youtube definitely but uh, you know with the consistency of my videos and with the views and all the other stuff i do not have that for that much following uh, till date till now 
so I did not have uh, uh, got any earnings from YouTube except like uh, spending <laughs> on all the stuff like um, to make my videos better and better the quality of my videos better and better so till date I did not have any <laughs> earnings from YouTube the next question is if you were given a choice between YouTube and job which one would you choose definitely my profession because i'm a doctor and i absolutely love healing people and also i am more into reiki healing like i just want to heal people i just want to uh, make them get rid of their sufferings uh, so and i feel so happy when uh, once i do that uh, but uh, definitely I actually love making friends on YouTube so uh, even if I have very less number of subscribers now uh, I feel so much connected with all my subscribers I just don't want to call them subscribers as I told you previously also they are more of my friends and uh, I think I know them uh, more uh, like uh, uh, really very close uh, when it comes to YouTube so I actually like doing YouTube uh, but when once I need to choose between my profession and my YouTube I will definitely choose my profession now the next question is who is your favorite YouTuber now this question is really very difficult one because uh, I actually love watching uh, beauty videos uh, so I like Nikki tutorials I like uh, Kaushal Beauty and um, some other Indian YouTubers like uh, uh, Shreya from SJ Loves and Shruti Arjuna and uh, Komal, both the uh, Komals from uh, and Sonal and uh, like the Indian YouTubers and when it comes to international YouTubers I like uh, Kathleen Lights, I like Daisy Perkins <laughs> and uh, the list goes on and I absolutely am loving Alyssa Ashley's channels these days so I love her videos um, so uh, these are actually very few but uh, yeah I love watching more of beauty related videos so the next question is according to your experience what does it take to be a YouTuber it takes a lot of courage and responsibility <laughs> according to me uh, to be a youtuber because uh, whatever um, videos we are putting out there you need to be um, more confident and you need to be more courageous uh, to get uh, all the you know stuff that you are getting and to be strong <coughs> like give them <coughs> so whatever it is I feel definitely that uh, these two factors are really very important the next question is which ones do you think works better paid content on original I definitely feel original content is always good um, and it it works better on a long term and as far as paid content uh, it all depends on your choice uh, and your priorities so yeah uh, but I feel uh, for me it's original so the next question is which is your most successful video I feel it's uh, the juicy chemistry haul uh, because uh, that brand was one of my uh, initial discoveries uh, during my YouTube so uh, so I think it has got more than um, a good number of views so that was one of my successful video next question is what editing software and filming equipment do you use so let me tell you guys uh, when I started my YouTube I just used my mobile phone so you guys can see if you are uh, watching my videos from the beginning of my YouTube journey then you will definitely make out the difference in my videos because at that time I used to just film on my mobile and later I started using my normal camera and uh, I used to film on that now but recently I think you you guys must have uh, watched a uh, difference in my videos the quality of my videos because I upgraded and I've got the Canon 700D and also I have got the MacBook Pro so I'm editing my videos on Final Cut Pro so currently I'm using this uh, equipment next question is how do you deal with hate and mean comments um, initially when I started my journey I was like uh, head over heels when I receive any hate comment I used to feel oh my god what is this <laughs> but nowadays I just uh, delete the comment block the person and feel free and do my next video <laughs> I'm not bothered about hatred because I stay away from negativity 
in my real life or in my YouTube life. I just don't feel bad to block negative person or hatred and I'm so um, you know open to criticism. I take that for some extent to, to some extent but I just don't want to get carried away with uh, with some other people's uh, uh, like um, other people's uh, opinions on me because they doesn't even know anything about me and I just uh, don't want uh, the hatred to get continued so I'm a very positive person so I've seen so many things in my life so I just don't want to get that hatred into my life so I block the comments and I delete the you know the people and I block them <laughs> yeah the last question is advice for other Indian YouTubers. Now I'm very um, like uh, very small YouTuber, uh, so I just don't want to give big big advices to other Indian YouTubers because there are so many experienced people in the community. So the only thing I just want to address is just take the responsibility of being a YouTuber. This is um, really very different thing because. Why I just want to tell about uh, taking responsibility is whatever content you are putting on your channel is uh, um, affecting some people who are watching the videos. Make your content more genuine and uh, more uh, uh, take responsibility of your videos whatever content you are putting in. Just don't put uh, vague content like um, you know get fairness in one day, get fairness in five minutes. And it just helps you getting views and um, money on YouTube but uh, um, at the end of the day you need to have at least some self satisfaction of uh, helping at least one person person around there uh, who can get benefited watching your video so feel free and uh, um, feel responsible of the content you are going to put in and make sure that whatever content you are putting in your videos is helpful to your subscribers or the people watching there in a hundred percent way because I'm not asking you guys to do something drastic or dramatic to do something um, I just want to keep the content of uh, your channel more realistic and uh, uh, more genuine and take responsibility of that um, so that is only uh, thing I just want to um, you know my advice to the Indian youtubers because uh, uh, people usually get away with uh, whatever thing they are seeing if they feel that uh, there is something happening there they they feel that oh this is this is life and they get misleaded very soon especially the youth who are watching youtube uh, so please do uh, please keep all these things in mind while you are making a video and uh, try to be more genuine so that's it for the tag i've uh, answered almost all the questions so i hope you guys enjoyed knowing a little bit more about me and feel free to tag all your favorite indian youtubers from all uh, all different platforms and uh, you know make this uh, being an indian youtuber tag successful and also try to know your youtuber youtuber more and uh, let's keep it real and uh, you know you have to know the problems that indian youtubers actually face so yeah <laughs> so i feel this is a beautiful tag so make sure that all your favorite youtubers uh, do this tag and um yeah i will see you guys in my next video until then stay happy be beautiful keep smiling bye bye